Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Wolves Den as we continue our journey with Red Dead Redemption 2. And here we are. Um, last where we left off, we finally finished Arthur's story into a sad ending. We even lost our horse. But didn't die in vain. We got uh, John, Jack, and. Oh, shoot. I gotta turn here. Alright, anyway, he, um, he finally gave him a second chance to, you know, restart, and essentially this is like, the, before the first game, essentially. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm probably going to title my, to kind of like put in like, more words for the, uh, videos, I'm probably just going to abbreviate the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and then put epilogue. I bet that sounds strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been Ooh. a long time. Yeah, I hope everyone's all well. Um, this will be the last bit of our Red Dead Redemption 2 journey. Pretty soon we'll be doing this epilogue and then it'll be game over. And we'll probably focus on Hogwarts Legacy and I will listen to some other games to play if y'all like I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or hole. polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. You know, I'd be down to grow some facial hair, but I can't. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like one of the like falls in the blonde or, you know. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do <laughs> nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Tell me about the freaking inflation yeah, now. My days wife right now and I ridiculous. and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, I still barely make well, enough for what I do. And we I need money. Yeah, there's parents. bad it's folk out there. Freaking insane. <laughs> Tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then a I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right. So we leave our carriage here. Now we go find our wife and kid. I like how you want sideways. All right, get door. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Like what do you Jack suggest now? I give a crap about I'll stay here. <laughs> He's just get like, on with the work. You deliver so them lost. goods and then collect me. Okay. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> Sassy little boy. Not even old enough to be in the rebellious age, what the heck? Follow the road north. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm still a little bit tired. This weather is really messing up my sinuses. Making me drowsy a lot too. And again, I could also try and do kind of work I do. And it's an overnight job, so I have like no like vitamin D like hardly throughout the day. But I can't like live off juice. It's not healthy to like constantly drink juice, so uh, I should take vitamins, but I mean, those are extremely expensive and I can't like always get them. Charles is doing all the news. Heck, I wonder what happened to the rest of the crew. It'd be cool to run into him. I miss my little beef. I wonder if she ever became a writer. That would have been awesome. Run, rabbit, run. Very peaceful. <laughs> Just have like music playing in the background. Oh god, watch out, rabbit. I think it's the first time ever I haven't hit an animal yet. <laughs> Give it some time, I'll probably <laughs> end up doing it at some point. <laughs> Jeez, this place is far. Well, I mean, different times, so. Pretty much out of bee patient for. Now we go north. For um, deliveries and stuff. Nowadays, it would be like. Well, depending on what you buy. It would, uh. Like, yeah, like, yeah, if you like ordered something from that line, it would take like a few days for preparation since it's a warehouse. But I don't know if. I never really ordered groceries from home before, so. I don't know about that. I, I guess it would only take like a few hours for this. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just rambling. Nonsense. Uh, okay. This is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if I travel any longer, I'm gonna lose my mind. Granted, in real life, I enjoy it, but. Lavender flowers here. Thanks. You, Mr. Gaddy. Nice old home. No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. Sure, the view is beautiful. They send everything. Sure. Yeah, I think so. So, partner. Your boss? He looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife. We was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy. Yeah, Lance Agatha. Mark. That's it. That's it. Big her man her around, name. boy. Oh my god. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now. That ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, he just hops in. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, 
When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell there. this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for That's that. Gross. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <Yeehaw>. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> oh, boy. Come back here. Take that horse and eat. <laughs> Come back here. Don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my oh, damn wagon. It. We're fine. Thank you. Joke. Tell me to take that off or off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more funny. <laughs> yeah, I'll hear it before I change my mind of killing you. Go on. You and your tiny horse. Oh, good. He's just going by himself. Good horse. Maybe. <laughs> it's kind of walking in the opposite direction. Though. Well, they ate like an apple and drank some whiskey. And they're just like, that's it. So hopefully the rest of the stuff is fine. Hey! Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, huh. she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble are you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I like I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you <laughs> stay here. It's getting late. Oh, we'll go I get her fart. in Strawberry. <laughs> we'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Alrighty. Like the I fuck out and outlaw is over. We are now ranchers. <laughs> Black water and tumbleweed. I'll think about it. I'm down for any, any, uh. new horses. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Uh -oh. You work hard. <laughs> you luck. be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. 
Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? Extra hard. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hopefully get over here. Wrong here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> uh, Come on fine. this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in uh, the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh... Not discuss this in front of my wife. Oh, uh, no, you sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. It looks like these mountains oh, looks yeah. like they're in Colorado. I hear that. Are they really Midwest? Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This Wait, kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. So it could be Colorado. I don't know. I think we can be okay big, here. Right? What? It's Stay ranching here. work. This place is kind of. It's fine. Are really common. But I hear you know. began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I don't know why he needs a cover-up name for his son. I was going to milk the cows. Come on. It's not like it. he's on a hit list right now. Are gonna milk the cows? Freaking Jack sure. Milton. <laughs> why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well... It ain't as wild as it once was. Right, at least. Cows are there is that. You See, don't want their heads. It's crazy. Ain't too personal a question. Are you a gunslinger, Mister? Uh, <laughs> no. Lord, no. Nothing like that. No. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Yep. <laughs> Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. A tiny cow. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. All right. Oh, you ain't so bad. Almost got a pail full. <laughs> I ain't learned how to be a rancher <laughs> doing hey, this Mom, game. Holy crap. your boy? Sure. Hey, that's a lot. Like how well, I'm hey, like this hey. ended. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Mike Jackson's like, sure. Silly. 
can't tell watching Come me. Come on, son. Milk up freaking cow. I might have you if you want to learn. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that good? It's such a fine name. I really like cool. it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may oh, be. Oh, God. I don't really want to shovel poop. Lovely. Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. All right. Has his back turned. Time to stab Jack. Let's go. <laughs> Ugh. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, <laughs> sir. Nothing. Where how I just like skip up a little bit. Thinking piles of that stinks. Wait, how the heck? No, what? Like stacks of hay and stuff in there, and just randomly crap there. Making me do one more. You think your Outside mother's hiding everything. somewhere? Laughing at us? <laughs> no sense of humor, Jack. Come Reckon on. even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Never thought I'd use a pitchfork for that. <laughs> oh well. I figured they use like a shovel or something. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit <laughs> of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Just sitting up there. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> I can understand that. It's like one of you. Alright, got some new clothing. Definitely like this better than the R1. The R1 was kind of crap. Alright, got some two missions to do over here. And I guess I'll go to this one. It's closer. Is it closer? Or is it closer? You know, let's just look at what the missions are. Okay. Looks like we're riding a horse with Jack there. Not sure. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. 
Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Oh, no, Guess we all got it. our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there, we don't want it coming down. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side, you gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. That's it. I ain't even have to move that one. Fine. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. This kind of way of building a fence is actually kind of surprisingly easy looking. I do remember there's like more like cylinder ones back when I was younger. For the, uh, um, I don't know what you call them, but the mill section. They, they were like more cylinder like. Jim Mill, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Jesus, calm down. <laughs> Why am I running in that direction? Come on, son. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Gettys, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Come on! Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Shit. I'll get him. Just follow Milton and try and calm him down. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Just me the lasso let me just keep running. Hello, buddy. Relax, my friend. Shoot! Shoot! Oh god. Why didn't I just jump out of the way? God damn it. Let's talk. You got a timber on you. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. 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 It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. There, there. 
All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on. <laughs> Lots of time. Like, no. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. Him okay. What other dude just got a freaking ran good. <laughs> over the fence? There he is. Holy crap. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Oh, man. I don't think I want a tango with a bull <laughs> if I ever choose to be a rancher. <laughs> then again, for some reason, I'm willing to, like, take on a horse if it goes out of I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Just see a play of potatoes. <laughs> All right, like, it's just, I figured it'd be like kind of some chicken, some vegetables as well, but really not. Oh man, what the heck they do in my clothes? I like the white shirt more. Oh well. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? I, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right. Speaking of oh, we're, here. I'm we're good. dealing, dealing with some horses now. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horses been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a pretty horse. Okay, there. then. All right. There's He'll be pants. just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Settle down, okay? You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Relax. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Hey, now. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I oh, do. Hey, easy now. Pretty big one. It's all That's right. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take him out. Easy. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Hey. You're all right. Let's get a laugh. 
lather up. I thought you were taking him for a ride. Everything you got, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to get on there for a minute. You got some energy? Show me this. Man, he hopped on right there real quick. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. Heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. The horse does seem a little too Doing big fine. for him. At the real moment. nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another know. horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah. I've seen a pony, but there's you small breeds of horses. Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. One step at a time. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right, so all the horses are, like, saved. All right. I wonder if, like, all the info was going to, like, go away after Arthur, but seems like I still got them So... All. You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Oh, lovely. Not too much. Oh, my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Also don't want to well, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's the not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and a get a feeling animal. for where the legs are. D I've Go on. Dogs before, so. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Grip them. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. That was quick. I hope so. I even show it. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? Oh my I didn't God. know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy 
Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of no, course. Yeah, I got it. Good day, Mr. Milton. Day. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought she was generally just being kind of like that. See, okay, look at that horse. That horse makes more sense for that kid. Not that big old beefy horse. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please, for me, for him. I mean, I'm kind of enjoying it. This is just how's he been? I understand. Been kind of withdrawn, quiet, you know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. I found Jaggers on this shirt. It's disgusting. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. I like how definition for Mr. a Mr. Getty's boy led it to you. <laughs> Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> we go home? just left the house. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act... Confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. I think this is a fine speed, honestly. Faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Yes, sir.
down. What the heck? Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Oh, okay. Guys, and we. My bad. I'm winning! Not anymore. <laughs> Son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't shoot at his daddy now. one we kill leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how oh, fancy parents get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. said he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, come on, get him. Come on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. I couldn't stop him, Jim. Oh, boy. Getty spins on women. Saves on eggs. Brains out. It's like that, huh? Ah. Ah. I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? Mr. Milton! Oh, he's licking you, boss! <laughs> yeah. Boss! Boss! You need help? Yeah. Oh, Jim, get off that man! Yeah. Get off! He didn't lay he a finger on first. me. Oh, you can fight, boy. Well I'll Michael. give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. 
Okay, she's getting a little irritating. Like, I get it after all they've been through, but there is some moments you're going to have to step up for yourself. Like, if we just let them walk all over us, we're not going to have a peaceful life left. We all get caught um, eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. That's still awesome. Wait, it is. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. <laughs> like John really Marshall, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh my god. Bro. You gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. Get that tongue. Get the tongue out of here. It's a rich man's father. You boys are all the cattle are out there. Alright, whatever. Who's this? A new hand? That all? Dumb Hicks. Bro. Jim. Oh, I love him. Bastards. They've killed Mr. Tolbert and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back. I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Ah. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Here, we'll be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. 
Couple guards out front. Couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Ready. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me! My my um, normal guns will stay, so there we go. All right, so now it's like blocked in my inventory, so I can choose between any of them. But I would much have, rather have my shotgun at the ready. I think I only have to walk on the house. I need money for a horse, though. the game. 
for a while. I need my ammo and food. Alright. And then I think there were classic loads or something over here. Yeah. Alrighty. You ain't so talky now, are you? Get up. Backwoods, Saka, no good, trash. Oh, okay. oh, God. Come on. Oh, cute. He's a, he's a blocker. woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make good with Lord, some this piss poor stinking farmhand. Oh, wait, no, hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her. <sighs> Taking Arthur's hat. Can't leave that behind. Then there's a gun up here too. You know, I always forget what the spring fields are for. I think it's for some animals or hunting. I don't know if we'll be hunting though. I still think could use though. I think we already have that in our inventory. Oh, I guess I'm ammo. Yeah, so I'll loot you too. Oh my god, <laughs> that was freaking cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. There's another gun over here. Oh, or, oh okay, we already picked that up. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh, that weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? <laughs> what? 
What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Wow. Even he's a gone red. He's like, ah, no, nope. I ain't getting involved. <laughs> Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. Outfit. That's all I'm saying. Now Arthur's in his head. Sure, why not? Not like I'm doing our camp chores. <laughs> and just leave the bucket there. Okay. Parkour. <laughs> All right. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well... Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. No, I hope he wasn't listening Milton. on that. Ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. <laughs> Come on. He's getting soft. Jim, if you're <laughs> heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered at think it's in your name my name I think so one's in your name and the other one's in mine o only one should have come in by now how much shopping you done oh yes a real keen purchaser of goods me look at me <laughs> okay Lance a lot we'll make a man out of you yet not too much of a man mine he's only a boy <laughs> just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little we'll save the Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care now. Sure, I mean, Gohan was like 11 years old, fighting out freaking. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? Man. Be careful on this. <laughs> I like being in the house, Pop. So. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I, know I did what I had to, <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> to protect yeah. you. Ma said it was pride or something. Well, Ma was wrong about that. Alrighty. I'll well, collect some mail. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Pa. It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Yep. Oh, thank God. We're going through a cutscene. <laughs> I'll tell him to speed up and slow down and whatnot. 
That's some canoes down there. to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. And I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Now it's cool to see that yeah, is starting to line up a little bit. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't. That come off. Hi. I'm here to name. My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. This is show. Marston. <laughs> nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes. Here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. Everything okay, yeah, Pop? probably going to be sure. ambushing us. I hope so, at least. I assume. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to the wrong hole, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah! Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down. Yeah, watch okay. Uh, sure. Make it work. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Ah! Pick up the pace a bit. Sure, he's on us. Just a bit faster now. Driving across 
across here? It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Yeah, this is a little too suspenseful. They're gonna ambush us. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob him. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a ball action now? Yeah. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Giddy up. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul! Huh? Son, I need oh, to... Do you want to die? Do you want me to die? <laughs> you were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah. I am. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Go say hi to your mother. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our 
our son. Uh, that wasn't my fault. I had a your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. All right. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Okay, so that was a quick signing. <laughs> Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got oh. something to discuss. Still around. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're gonna be an old friend. Knowing her, I feel like she's probably been a freaking gunslinger or I uh, maybe even join the police force or something. But I don't know. I don't think of the Abigail. police for force. <laughs> She's not exactly the most chill type. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you, part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Okay, so it's essentially a breakup. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? <laughs> Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Yeah, no promises. All right. Um. 
Let's see. Yep, but, well, eh, I probably don't want to risk another long cutscene. So, I'll end this episode right here, and then um, I'm going to, like, make another one right after this. So, uh, but for those who have come to see only this video for now, um, thank you all for watching. And if you're new to the channel and like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Feel free to ask any questions down below. And only if you want to. Um, if you want to help support the channel, I have links to my socials in the description. And I will see y'all in the next one. Take care.